Hey, what's up? I'm Beth and this is Star Makeup. Um, today we are going to play around with the LA Girl Main Stage Desert Dream Palette. Um, I picked this up from Ulta because I just had to have it when I saw the color story. Um, this shade up here in the corner did come broken, so I did have to repress it a little bit. But that is what the palette looks like. Um, so we're just going to play around, create this eye look. I will let you know what I thought about it and yeah, just have some fun. So if you would like to see what I thought about this palette or how I created this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so because all of the colors in this palette work like really well together, um, I'm gonna try to use as many shades as I can. So I'm gonna do like a three toned crease. Um, so I have to be careful because this shade came broken. Um, but I'm gonna go with like the green, the blue, and then the purple through my crease. And then I'm gonna go with this and the blue on my lower lash line. And I'm gonna play around with like a couple of the shimmers on my lid, inner corner, all of that. Um, but I just figured I'd try to use as many of the mattes as I could. So um, I'm gonna start off with this little pencil brush from Poppy Cosmetics. And I'm gonna go into that kind of like, I wouldn't really call it a green, but it's not really aqua either. I don't know what you'd really consider that color. And I'm just going to start with that in the inner portion. And even though these are like a lot of pastels, they are really pigmented. Like I was really shocked when I swatched this palette. So I'm just gonna take what is left on the brush here and just kind of blend it up a little bit. I'm so excited because the ColourPop and Animal Crossing collaboration is out for delivery right now. Um, and I'm probably going to post a video with that before this one gets posted. Um, so I will link that for you guys, but I'm like so excited for that to get here. Okay, so that's all nice and blended out. Um, I'm going to switch over. Um, <laughs> this is a Lorella brush. I can't tell you which one it is because it has rubbed off. <laughs> and I'm just going to go into that blue shade that's right next to the one that we already used. And I'm going to kind of overlap them just a little bit just so that they can blend together easily. All right, so now I'm just gonna take whatever's left over and just blend it up a little bit. I'm gonna switch to another Lorella brush. This one does still have the number on it and it is the LC22. Really sorry about the traffic. It is like 11 on a Friday. <laughs> so it's right around lunchtime. I live on a busy road. So I'm just going to go into the purple that is right next to that blue. And I'm going to start it in the outer corner of my crease. I am going to work it in a little bit, like once most of the pigment is off of the brush. 
And I'm gonna make sure to pull some of it down to my lid a little bit. And then I'm just gonna slowly start kind of working it up and out. And just go back in for more pigment if you feel you need to. Of course, we know I like my outer corner. Of course, we know I like to have my outer corner very dark. So I will probably dip back in several times. I just thought these three shades looked so nice together. Like when I did the swatches and saw them, you know, all laid out in a row, I was like, oh yeah, that would be awesome in the crease. But I wanted to be able to use more of the colors, so I figured we'd pull in something different for the lower lash line. Okay, um, I'm gonna go back with the brush that I used for the blue and just kind of go over this. Make sure that everything is good and blended. Okay, so I like the way that looks. Um, I think we should go ahead and do the lower lash line and then we'll cut out the lid. The lower lash line, I'm going to use one of these teeny tiny little BH Cosmetic brushes and I'm going to pick up that like brighter, deeper blue and I'm going to keep that, oh wow, traffic is real bad today. <laughs> I'm going to keep that like super, super close to my lashes and I'm only going to bring it in about halfway. And this shade was like insanely pigmented when I swatched it. So a little of this goes a really long way. I think I want to make it just a little bit wider. I'm going to go in with a, another Lorella brush now. This is an LC27 and it's kind of like um, a fluffy flat brush. And I like using brushes like this for the lower lash line because I feel like I can get like right up in there as opposed to having something that's a little more like round and fluffy. Um, so I just picked up that more mauve kind of purple shade. Um, and then I'm just going to use that to blend this out. So I'm going to take a clean ColourPop E1 and I'm just going to go around the edge and make sure that we don't have any harsh lines. Okay, so I think I'm good with that. Um, so let's cut out the lid. So I've got my NYX Glitter Primer, Color Pop E3, and I'm just going to tap this and spread it across my lid. And then I'm just gonna run the brush right through my socket. I'm going to take this Morphe M167 and I'm going to pick up I'm going to go into this blue shimmer and then I'm going to go into this purple one. Ooh. 
holy fallout. And now I'm just going to tap back and forth between the two shades and get them to blend together. Okay, so this is where we're at right now. Um, I am going to clean off that teeny tiny little BH brush. And I'm going to go into this like iridescent purple shimmer. And I'm going to pop that in the inner portion of my lower lash line. And I used that as my highlighter today. And I think it looks gorgeous. It's a really nice color. It's like a purple to blue duochrome. It's stunning. Okay, I'm going to clean that off and then I'm going to go into that pink that is like right next to it and I'm going to pop that into my very inner corner. And this shade is absolutely amazing. It's, it's got like a translucent base with mostly pink but there's also like blue and purple shimmers in it it is gorgeous and I'm just gonna like fade that up towards my lid and down towards my lower lash line just get everything to blend together so I'm gonna go off camera, recreate this on the other eye, throw on lashes, liner, a lip product, and I will be right back to show you the finished look. Okay, so this is the finished look. I love how this turned out. Um, the reason that I ended up getting this palette, I was on Ulta and I was just putting stuff in my cart, looking around, seeing what was new. And this was on there and I have like two of their other palettes that are very similar to this type of layout. And I had been going through like moving things around in my makeup drawers and I saw one of them and I pulled it out and like swatched a couple of the shimmers and I was like, wow, why don't I ever use this? Because these shimmers are so good. I mean, they're, they're really textured but they don't leave like texture on your lid and they're so bright and sparkly so when I saw that I remembered back to when I had pulled those out and swatched them and I was like oh yeah I love those colors that is so me so I had to get it totally did not let me down at all this palette is really really good i mean even though some of the shades are like pastels they're still super pigmented easy to blend out the shimmers are just gorgeous i mean like look at my cheek look at how crazy that highlight is because i used one of those eyeshadows um so yeah first impression of this palette really really good i really really like it um, so I used ColourPop in the style Bay for my lashes. Um, I did the Balm Mad Lash on my upper lashes, L'Oreal Telescopic on my lower lashes. Um, what else? I used the LA Girl Shockwave in Fresh in my waterline. And then for my lips, I did the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Violet Smoke. And then I topped it with um, 
Lethal Cosmetics and this one is in the shade Unforgiven. And then I threw a little bit of the e.l.f. Uh, Retro Paradise and this is in uh, Electric Lemonade. So yeah, I think that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Consider subscribing to my channel. If you do, ring the notification bell. That way you get notified every time I post. You can hop over to Instagram and follow me over there. Everything will be listed in the description box down below and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.